As a student, you've most likely heard about all the trouble you can get in when it comes to plagiarizing. But do you know why professors and librarians are so concerned about it? It's because one objective of an academic career is to learn how to express your own thoughts and ideas in spoken and written words. Learning how to recognize and avoid plagiarism ensures that your voice is evident in writing assignments, research papers, and projects. Throughout this video, we'll define plagiarism and ethical behavior. Recognize that acting with academic integrity stems from an understanding that information has value and appreciates scholarship as an academic conversation. Plagiarism involves using someone else's work or research as your own. There are many types of plagiarism, and it doesn't always happen on purpose. You can plagiarize accidentally by forgetting to cite, losing a citation, or by unknowingly omitting necessary citations. Remember, even ideas must be referenced if they come from a source other than you. This is where strong note-taking skills can come in handy. Make sure you've noted where every piece of outside information originated from. If you're not sure, you can't use it in your assignment. Plagiarism can result in severe consequences such as failing an assignment or even a class. But that isn't the only reason that you should avoid using the work of others without giving them credit. Acting with academic integrity and avoiding plagiarism is easier if you have an appreciation for the idea that information has value. What does this mean? Information can have value in a lot of different ways. Information about a company or stock market trend could have financial value. Information about a scientific discovery could be valuable to public health. Information also can have educational value when you are using it for an assignment or research paper. The idea that information has value often is described as intellectual property. Intellectual property is an idea or invention that comes from someone's mind. If you have learned something from an author's work, you just received value from that work. Crediting that person acknowledges their effort, just as you would want to be acknowledged for your work if someone used an idea of yours. Another way to respect the value of a piece of information is by using it in proper context. Avoid misusing or altering the information you find. Giving context to your information provides a fuller, more accurate picture of your research and arguments. If you take an idea or a piece of evidence out of context, you've changed the value of the information, and that compromises your academic integrity. Ask yourself if you are acknowledging the value of the information you are using whenever you utilize another's ideas. This means both by citing it and by using it accurately. You've likely heard about the consequences when it comes to plagiarizing, but are you also aware that your teachers emphasize these consequences because they care about your voice being heard? Using sources in a responsible and ethical manner and providing credit where credit is due keeps your ideas from being confused with the work of others. Professors ask you to incorporate resources into your paper to back up your ideas with authority. Citing the ideas of professionals enhances your argument and provides support for your ideas. It also allows you to participate in a conversation of ideas with your sources. As a student, you enter into the academic conversation when you follow threads of research. Use them to develop your own thoughts and ideas, and then cite those sources in your papers. The idea of scholarship as conversation conveys the importance of being aware of the places from which you gather information and sources. It also means you have a voice in this conversation and a responsibility to the other researchers to give them credit for the work you use to build your own ideas. Now that you can define plagiarism and ethical behavior, recognize that information has value, and note how that contributes to academic integrity, and view scholarship as a conversation, you're better equipped to produce ethical academic work that lets your individual voice be heard.